Three major institutional analysts have made big comments about Tesla's future. First, we have Adam Jonas of Morgan Stanley, who dropped a new note suggesting Tesla's expertise in batteries and AI could lead to drones, potentially adding $1,000 per share on a $9 trillion market by 2050. Should Tesla get into making drones? Might they do this? But um, here's Morgan Stanley. This is their note. Drones, Tesla, a defense company in consumer clothing. So this is them saying, you know, last weekend, Ukraine launched an unmanned aerial attack, 117 drones, and it was very successful. And then, um, so he, they're, they're thinking, uh, you know, they're thinking that uh, this could happen. So the Tesla might get into drones. You know, they're saying, hey, first of all, all the technology that Tesla has is transferable. You got networking, especially if you have a partnership with Starlink, manufacturing electric vehicle batteries, electric motors, satellite communications, and of course, autonomy. This is just really robots that have AI. China makes more drones in a day than the United States makes in a year. All future wars will be fought with drones. He stated in the first quarter uh, earnings co conference call, any country that cannot manufacture its own drones is doomed to be vassal state of any country that can. And we can't. America cannot currently manufacture its own drones. Let that sink in. So there's that, and then there's the technology. Um, yeah, what's the what's your thinking? How it's the likelihood of uh, Tesla getting into drones? Well, far be it for me to correct Morgan Stanley, but actually America does manufacture drones. It's a company called Andural mm -hmm. that manufactures drones at scale for the United States uh, military. And I think Elon Musk's companies have contracted uh, with the United States Armed Forces before famously mm -hmm. and most most importantly, and I think principally through um, the uh, contracts that SpaceX have with um, with the armed forces for various uh, types of communication, satellite communication, principally Starlink, but other forms of satellite communication. They also launch satellites for the US armed forces. So, it's not impossible that Elon would contract with the armed forces, but I think Elon's worldview would predicate against him going into building straightforward arms. There is another factor. I mean, you know, the drone business is really, I mean, it, it's a commodity business. It's unlike Elon to get into a commodity business unless he can make something very unique out of it. Hard to see how a drone gets made unique, but Tesla has got a putative partnership with this company called Andural that do make drones. So could Tesla be a principal supplier of batteries to Andural? Absolutely. And by the way, Andural also make other autonomous vehicles, including submarines. So there is a you know plenty of latitude for Tesla to involve itself in the weapons industry through the supply of the unique capabilities they have. But I doubt that they will get into arms manufacturing themselves. But it doesn't have to be arms manufacturing, right, Larry? I mean, it can be a uh, food delivery, you know, a flying drone that drops off packages. We're seeing there's companies, of course, that are doing that today. Right, there are companies no out volume. there. That's, There's no volume. No volume. That. You don't think that's a that big enough of a business? Okay, interesting. Let's. You know, there is. If there is some unique idea that Tesla can invent, that would transform that industry, no doubt, Elon would look at that. But simply to get in that business because quote it's a big business, I doubt it very much. And what, what do they bring to it? The battery, uh, you know, a better, cheaper battery. Well, that could be important, but they can sell that battery uh, to to the to the vendor. It, there's nothing. There's nothing uniquely impossible now. Manufacturing at scale, that's a different matter. If 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 they felt that they could manufacture at scale to beat everybody else in the United States. You know, perhaps there'd be an argument, but other than that, I don't see the I don't see the margin of competition 
such as an early entry into electric vehicles, such as an early entry into autonomy, such as you know an early entry into humanoid ro robots. Those are things that really count. Yeah, interesting position. Let's listen to Elon talk about how important drones are for the country. That could be one reason he does get into it, right? He's always thinking the big picture. If the United States doesn't exist, there's no point doing it. And that's why I need to help with the Doge. And um, here's us into The biggest effect, I think, by far, is AI and drones. The current war in Ukraine uh, is very much a drone war already. Um, now, if there's uh, a major power war, it's very much going to be a drone war. Uh, it's it's going to be drones and AI. And I do worry about the existential risk of AI. Um, which is that if you if you employ AI and drones, do you, do you go down this path where eventually you get to Terminator? You know, try to avoid that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. That would be good. Yeah. Um, minimize the t Terminator risk. When you when you're making military drones, you are making Terminators. I think you're, you'll somewhat be forced into at least giving the drone localized AI. Um, because if the, if the AI is far away, it can't control as well as localized AI. What do you mean by localized AI? Meaning it's autonomous killing machine. <laughs> Completely autonomous. Well, you give it the okay yeah. in a particular arena, and, it's just, and it goes. With certain parameters? And, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, well, he's warning I mean, the U.S. The, I mean, the U.S. has to do this. It. Yeah. Yeah, you could posit a situation where Tesla manufactures a drone that contains the AI4 chip or the AI5 chip. And there's very little doubt that the AI4 chip is way ahead in technology globally, Japan, who, whatever country, in terms of the amount of com uh, inference compute it can pack into the amount of power that it draws. I mean, it, th there's no contest. And AI5 is literally around the corner. So. AI5 in a drone could make all the difference in the world. Uh, whether the AI5 and its, and its power capacity is sufficient for a small drone, it's clearly not yet. But, but if you need a drone with large-scale autonomous ca capability, AI5 could make all the difference in the world. Now, would Tesla make that? I don't know. I, I, I just feel that there's a low likelihood Mm -hmm. But there may be a high likelihood for Tesla and Angel to partner in such a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So we've got, uh, you know, Morgan Stanley saying Tesla stock could have a thousand dollars per share added, uh, one hundred to a thousand per share via drones and urban air mobility, estimated to be one trillion by twenty forty, nine trillion by twenty fifty. And these are just fake mockups, yeah, but yeah, somebody but made. Tesla's yeah. talk, but Elon's talked about, uh, you know, some form of battery-powered flight. He's talked about that. And you've got Archer Aviation who just achieved flight, a manned flight in a battery-driven device, and there are other competitors. So that is a possible area for interest, and that's a whole different thing to a mass-produced drone. Um, and so that would definitely, I think, be something that, you know, down the road we could see.